two. Hello, guys. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Coffee Time with Cobra. Mm. I have my dad give the best cup. Uh, this was a uh, birthday gift from my daughter. Big thank you to you, my best of that. I'm going to be dipping some Aldi's versions of Hobnobs, my favourite biscuit. Mm. It has been a week and some. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like the intro, guys. Mm. The intro is something I decided to do because most of my videos have intros, so. Why not the coffee times with Cobra? Way overslept because of my meds. I'm not joking. And now on metrazepine. Um, so yeah. And one of the side effects of that medication is. Yeah. It will knock you on your derriere. And boy, let me tell you this. Woo! Plus, my PTSD's been acting up really bad, I'm not gonna lie. I was craving something sweet last night, but I didn't let it get to me. Actually, I cheated. I took some ketchup and put it on a piece of bread and had a ketchup sandwich. Well, MOD fucked me. Long story short, I've been trying to get my records, a copy of them from MOD, that I can apply for certain school grants. And I had a very nice guy in Scotland go to the paper office, the actual office where they have paper records. And there's a folder there with my name on it, but it's blank. Uh, they opened it up and it was empty. It's got my name, Danny name on hand. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The folder is empty, blank. Because back in two thousand seven, I came back here to the UK to see my family. And while I was here, I'd lost my passport. Well, I found it again, but point was, I lost it in a public place. Someone had copied my passport. It was before biometrics. And stolen my identity. I didn't know this. Two weeks later, I'm now back in Utah. And... Someone had stolen my identity, got a, name, a, 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 a new uh, driver's license, a new birth certificate. And a lot of people keep asking me, do I have a driver's license? Yes, I have a driver's license. Stop asking me. A picture was taken when I was in the MOD. So yes, I do have a driver's license. Now, long story short, or short story long, however you want to put it. Um, this person who stole my identity, um, died in a car accident in 2013, yeah. And again, unbeknownst to me. So when I went to the British Embassy in, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, in 2018, to get my passport updated, I was told I was dead. I was like, I feel very much alive. Well, because a death certificate was issued and 
I wasn't talking to any of my family at the time. No one content, content, contested it or anything. It went through. So all my old military records were expunged because in England we have a data protection agency, a data, a data protection act, which YouTube's um, uh, ad blocker actually goes against. It's actually against the England's uh, YouTube data protection agent act law. They're not allowed to stop us from using um, pop-ups. And if they do and your data gets stolen, you can sue YouTube. Just a little heads up there. Well, anyway, um, finally get it all sorted, get my, 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 get it all corrected, and, um, took a while, but the MOD expunged my paper records, they hadn't put my, 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 my records to digital yet, which means the only records I had were paper ones, not digital, there wasn't a digital backup. So I've fallen through this one crack. That makes sense. I'm not the only one. There's, I know of at least five or six other soldiers who have fallen through this crack. And um, yeah, it fucking sucked. It still fucking sucks. Well, because of that, the MOD refuse, uh, are refusing to pay this month's rent on my, for, my, for this place. So I've got to pay for the rent out of my own pocket. That's going to leave me with £3.80 to my name. I've got to survive for 30 days on £3.80. And it's Christmas. This is going to cover me up to the 20th of December. So I'm going to have to go to either my bank or the uh, unemployment office. Because they're all lumped together now. Because of universal credit. If you're on veterans benefits, you're still on the universal credit umbrella. Um, I've got to go to them and get a loan from them and then pay it back throughout the year on their fuck up. And there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. So I come around Monday morning, I've got to call them and say, look, I need a loan to pay my rent please because it's not hit my account in fact I'll, 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 I'll double check it because I've got an online web portal which by the way has like no security whatsoever So yeah, they've literally just sent me this message. Hi Danny, the decision on your housing costs has not yet been reviewed as yet. Once a decision maker has made a decision, we will notify you. You are eligible for an advance. If you decide that you wish to apply for an advance from Universal Credit, please call 1-800 and speak to, an, to the advance team. Kind regards, Angie. So... Because of their fuck up, I now have to pay back our loan throughout the year. Do you understand why I want to leave this country now? If I would have come here floating on a fucking boat, they would have given me a hotel, a cushy hotel to stay in, a free, free, free fucking a Apple phone, fucking 170 quid a week, 180 quid a week to live off of. If, if you're thinking of coming to England for a holiday, don't. Just don't. Save your money. Go elsewhere. England has fallen. England is not a sovereign country that it used to be anymore. England truly has fallen. And, and that 
that pains me. Hey. Bad enough these fuckers took six years of my life. And I've got countless letters from veteran services telling me that they're helping me, they want to help me, and da 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 da. And I'm like, no, you don't. You just want to cover your own ass so that I don't sue you. It's ridiculous. <laughs> This, this is why I keep telling people, never trust your government. And I know that sounds a little bit like, ooh, hang on, he's, he's going a bit mental here. No, I'm not going mental, I'm being honest. Guys, never trust your government. Never trust your government. Right? Never, ever, ever trust your government. Oh, this is going to be the quickest coffee time I think I've done, so coffee's done. So, if you feel inclined to do so, donation links are below. I would greatly appreciate it. Until then, guys.